Douglas Keene thinks the best thing about being a chef is making people happy. And he's very good at it. Growing up in Michigan, he loved his mother's cooking. He enjoyed working in restaurants in high school. Then he bounced from coast to coast and spent some time in Japan on his way up the culinary ladder. After a series of honors and awards and a winning appearance on Bravo TV's Top Chef Masters, he now presides over two highly respected California restaurants, the Healdsburg Bar and Grill and the newly opened Two Birds, One Stone. We are delighted to welcome Chef Douglas Keene to the dish. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this fabulous spread. You know, it's all about summer. It's uh, it's what I would want to eat in the middle of summer, which is right now, and it's seasonal. It's easy. We start with a Greek salad, which is one of my favorite things in the world to eat, just right out of the garden, and uh, tomatoes and cucumbers and pepper and cheese. Everything's kind of chopped up and thrown together. And then, really, what I wanted to do is like it's it's about spending time with people, and yeah. so everything on the grill for the most part. We, we grill the potatoes, we grill the steak, and we grill the dessert with the peaches. And then the only other thing we do is we cream some corn, but it takes about two minutes to do it, and it's just super fresh. It's like really? corn yeah. cooked right off the cob. You barely cook it. It's you really can delicious. Taste it. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite little dishes. So you like making people happy with your food. Do you remember the moment where you realize, all right, this is my thing? Some people play ball, some people are good dancers. This is my thing, cooking. Yeah, I, I'm not sure the exact moment, but I realized that I was given a, a palate, a good palate. I kind of was born with that. Mm. So I kind of realized I could taste things as a young kid. And then I had parents that had a super great work ethic, and they instilled that in us, a Midwest work ethic. And so those two things kind of fit the kitchen. Like, I loved, I loved digging ditches and mowing grass and then doing things with kind of immediate gratification. Yeah. Cooking was kind of like that. You could cook and see people happy right away. Your yeah. first instinct, though, was to be a vet, right? Yeah, I would have loved to have been a vet. Yeah, I just wasn't smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a hotel school and I decided I was going to transfer over to vet school. But uh, the science kind of threw me off. And I remember my dad said, uh, just remember, all you need is a 2.0 to graduate college. So yeah. I think you need, I think you need too. Yeah. Would you hold on to that? Because the other passion that you have is dog rescue. Right? Yes, yeah. I do have a dog rescue, green dog rescue project, and we actually, my wife and I, have five dogs at home. And what? Three little goats, five dogs, four wow. chickens. <laughs> yeah, five dogs, all the way from Gail, who's a two pounder, to Cash, who's a hundred pounder. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your Top Chef experience. Did that change things for you? Yeah, it did. I mean, uh, in a good way. So, uh, really, they had asked me uh, for a few years to do the show, mm -hmm. and I was not, I was busy. I was too busy to do it. You have to kind of commit a full month to do it. But yeah. then, um, after Cyrus closed, I had the time, so I decided to do it. And because of it, I also had the charity that I loved, the Green Dog Rescue Project, and so I was able to play for that charity, and it kind of meant a lot more. It wasn't it wasn't really like I was playing for myself. It was oh, more that's was, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gave me it gave me a reason to do it, mm -hmm. um, and, and that was great. And I actually stuck around. I almost wanted to leave in the middle because I hated it. Really? Yeah, the first week was pretty rough. Yeah, yeah it looked yeah. pretty stressful. Yeah, it was ego too. You, you have to get over yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Yeah. You know, you mentioned Cyrus, which was your previous restaurant, which you know, critical acclaim, all kinds of awards, and then you shut it down. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was time to move on. It was uh, it was time to kind of close it, and uh, sometimes it's just better to close shop and regroup. And but we're going to redo it again. Really? Oh yeah, we found an amazing investor in an amazing place in Sonoma County, and we're we're going to build a really amazing restaurant. It's meanwhile, a good journey. Meanwhile, you've just opened a brand new restaurant yes. with a unique partnership. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I've just opened Two Birds One Stone in Napa Valley, and my partner is uh, Chef Sang Yoon. And we actually met each other on the uh, on the TV show, mm -hmm. and we decided to uh, collaborate. We both decided that at some point in our career, we were able to kind of choose the projects we want to do, so to speak. And this is fun. It's fun working with someone else. It's we're kind of like brothers, or or sharing the same brain, maybe. Is it true, really quickly, that you resolve all differences by playing rock paper scissors? It's very true. It's one hundred percent true. And the winner actually has to give the other one a bottle of champagne. <laughs> all right. So I want to hand you this dish for your signature, and I have one more question for you. If you could have a meal with anyone, living or dead, past or present, who would it be? Oh, easily. I'd like to eat again with my father. Yeah. I'd like to have one more meal with him. Mm. Yeah. You're going to make me cry. Yeah, that's <laughs> He was touching. a great guy. Chef Douglas Keene, thanks so much. And for more on Chef Keene and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.